Hi, I'm Crystal. It's the 23rd of March 2018. It's a Friday. And in my day, it was Cracker Jack Day because I'm 49 and I remember all the 80s children's programs because I was born in 1968. Um, yesterday, I went to meet a lady at the Salvation Army from Victim Support and we discussed various avenues to go down about my health. She said it'll take me years to recover from the abuse that I've gone through. Um, so we're going to meet on a regular basis to discuss and try and help me get over what's happened, uh, the sexual abuse, the domestic violence and um, basically it did help a bit she was telling me uh, I should can still date and that but to be careful and to meet men in a public place in daylight which is sensible but to not worry too much about going out with men at the moment and to just focus on getting myself better I went there at 11 o'clock there was four men on two benches and when you've been assaulted by men, that was a bit off-putting. So I was already a bit nervous before I went in there. I left there just after 11 o'clock and I walked down the Chatham High Street and had to do a bit of shopping for food and food for my cats. Um, came back home after that, um, had something to eat and um, then I had to go back out again I was going to go to and have um, a root canal done by the dentist but on going into the dentists um, I felt a bit out of breath and I thought if I have a needle now I could end up in hospital so I said to Dr Lupin that I don't, you know I don't really want to have a root canal done now so that's been arranged for next week um, it's nearly nine o'clock in the morning now, um, I've got out of bed, uh, the pain is still there and it's a burning feeling, like I'm being burnt inside the mouth. Um, as you can see I've managed to get myself dressed even though I didn't really want to. Um, so after going to Ashley Lupin's I went to the library now if I'd, I'd have had that injection and I'd have had that root canal it would have been horrible in there because they were scraping the chairs you know that sound when you was a kid at school and they scraped the chalk down the board and it makes you go like that but everybody was like scraping their chairs really hard on the floor and it gets to me at the best of times, but when you've just come out of the dentist and there's banging, there's screeching chairs, there's loud noise. But thankfully I hadn't had that root canal, so it wasn't too bad. Um, I uploaded pictures and, and videos to my Nokia phone. Um, and then I left the library, I went into the Pentagon Centre because I had to carry a heavy bag of cat litter from Wilkinson's home. It's heavy. From the town centre to Lansdowne Court, up the path and up the stairs. Um, out of breath, really, really nasty taste from the metronazidazole tablets, which are here. And I am taking these three times a day and I've got this disgusting taste in my mouth and I'm getting exceedingly out of breath after taking each one 400 milligrams of those and I went into the Pentagon Centre and there was crowds of school kids all around pound shop where I wanted to go into and they were all laughing because I'd just been to this kind of therapy session with that lady and I was talking about what had happened to me in the past and how I feel about myself and how that when you're a lady of a certain age you're on the menopause and you're going grey and you're getting towards death 
and all of a sudden you're faced with gangs of like school kids with really long hair pretty made up faces and you're getting old and I was just feeling so shit it was unbelievable and not only that they were roaring out with laughter and you know it's not at you you know they're all laughing together but when you feel so bloody goddamn fucking awful it feels rotten so I went into the pound shop and got bits and pieces and you end up getting a load of crap because you've been made miserable you overspend and get shit I went into Sainsbury's to get the newspaper and at last they've got their CCTV camera on and I also went into Boots the chemist because the, the victim support lady said to me you need to make an appointment with the doctors to sort yourself out and I wanted my blood test results which I had two weeks ago and the lady on the desk said to me oh some of your blood test is normal but some of your blood test is in the red but I'm sorry I can't help you discuss that and basically I can't get an appointment till the middle of April so here I am wondering what's wrong with my blood and nobody can tell me and I have to wait um, and someone was being uh, uh, retained for thieving from boots by the look of it because while I was being served at College Health doctor surgery